United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Trojans. And welcome back to Ingleside News Network. Tomorrow is ugly sweater day, so make sure you wear your ugliest sweater. I'm so excited for the holidays. I can't believe Christmas is next week. I'm so excited to hang out by the fire and drink hot cocoa. Yeah, I want to try hot cocoa. So Ms. Landler, how could a student check out a book if they would like to? I am so glad that you asked how a student can check out a book because even though the library space is closed, the service is not. So if you would like to check out a book, all you have to do is go on to the um, go to single sign up and click on the library tab, search for your book, and if you log in with your student ID and password, there will be a little button to the right of every single book that says hold it. You click on that and it sends me an email. I pull the book off the shelf, I check it out to you, and I deliver it to your first period teacher. If that's too complicated, you can always just simply email me. You can ask me for a book, make a request of a book, or ask for a recommendation. But the library service is absolutely 100% up and running and I would love to put a good book in your hands. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Landa. Thank you. Winter sports are also coming up, although they might get canceled due to COVID. Speaking of sports, let's go to Big G with more information on that. Hey Angleside, Big G here. Some people are starting to think that Trevor Bauer, a star pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds, was cheating this season. They think that he's using a foreign substance that increases spin rates and overall control of the ball. There's lots of evidence to back this up. For the past few years, Bauer has called out Garrett Cole multiple times saying he uses a foreign substance to get higher spin rates when he is pitching. Everyone is wondering what the MLB is going to do about this and if Trevor Bauer's free agency will be affected by this. Um, if you're looking for some good football games to watch this weekend, you can watch ASU play Oregon or watch the Cardinals play the Eagles. Here is a highlight reel from Semester One Sports. Days that were good, yeah. Take me, take me back to music in my room. Yeah. All my life I've been searching, looking for something perfect that only led me back to blue. Might be a little broken, but I've got my eyes wide open. I'm gonna say it till it's true. Expectations, don't care about no formal. I've been riding solo, so congratulations. Thank you, Big G, for that stunning information about sports. Do you remember the thing that happened about 117 years ago? Yeah, speaking of 117 years ago, let's go to Miko for a special report. All right, thanks, anchors. Today, 117 years ago, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Wilbur and Orville Wright did the first successful test flight of an airplane ever. The aircraft stayed in... Oh, 
Yeah, the aircraft stayed in flight for 12 seconds and covered a distance of 120 feet before landing. The airplane was a gas-powered biplane designed by the Wright brothers and similar to many aircrafts of World War One. The brothers had experience repairing bikes and many other mechanical machine, uh, many other machines, and they used the money from a bike repair business they opened in 1890 and were able to start researching aviation. In 1892, the brothers first got enough money to start researching and drawing up plans for prototype airplanes. After many scrap plans and failed flights, the brothers finally had a flying plane. Based on the basic biplane idea, the Wright brothers continued to develop this model until 1920. And many, the design was worked off of for many surveillance planes of World War I. That they changed the world forever with this creation and created one of the biggest industries in the world. Back to your anchors. Thanks, Miko. I hope that everybody has a great winter break. Me too, but I'm sad because this is my last week at Ingleside. We will miss you, Leland. Let's wrap it up with a Christmas joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mary. Mary who? Merry Christmas to all. <laughs> Happy holidays, Ingleside. Bye. <laughs>